We're here in Terrytown, New York. It's a community about 15 miles north of New York City in a very architecturally diverse development called Hudson Harbor, built right on the banks of the Hudson River. This development offers enough architectural diversity and amenities for almost anyone's tastes. And the best part is, it all comes together so nicely. From Hudson Harbor, from the terraces on the townhomes, you can see the New York City skyline. The development is under 30 acres. There's 238 homes. And people love the idea that there's different architecture and different buildings. It creates almost its own neighborhood. I had a chance to talk with Paul Janos, who's been with the project from its beginning and is still a large presence here at Hudson Harbor. And he was nice enough to give me a tour of the grounds. For me, a guy that's built a lot of homes and seen a lot of architecture, I'm impressed by the care and the time you took to really make things different, in particular these carriage houses, which as I look around are sort of my favorite. Yeah, one of my favorites as well. We worked with the architect. We wanted to have different neighborhoods. We did not want a cookie cutter development. You've stepped things back, you've changed the texture to them, and then inside there's a fair amount of square footage, correct? Between 21 and 2,800 square feet. You've got people living together in, a, in a, a relatively small footprint of an area, getting the benefits of their, their individuality. own individuality. Yeah, that's really a neat idea. Paul, talk to me a little bit about these brownstones right here, because this development, I mean, as we go around and look at it, you guys really took time to come up with some beautiful architecture that is unique to each unit with every one. Yes, we consulted Charles Lockwood. He wrote a book on brownstones and went down to Manhattan, looked at the different brownstones, and that's how we came up with the different facades instead of having one big monolithic building. Most people think about townhomes and they're like, all right, here you go, here's the eight or 10 units and maybe you change the interiors. And while I know that the interior spaces obviously can be changed a little bit, I mean, architecturally from the outside, it's beautiful. Thank you. So Paul, where are we now? We're at the Stone House. And the Stone House, we took the inspiration from stone barns and Pecanical Hills. We have some architectural details of the Adirondack Mountains. And this is kind of the part of the community. We have retail, we have a restaurant, an ice cream shop, there's gonna be a market, a some wine store. Some offices here on the lower office level, space right? Here. So it's a real mixed use. Yeah, it so I mean, you really sort of are creating a neighbor within a neighborhood as far as this development goes, right? Exactly. It sort of blends in with the brownstones and the design. But it's a little different. Yeah, and then that sort of architecture just creates such a unique opportunity to do different things with. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. All right, let's go take a look at some other stuff. You know, Paul, this unit back here by itself would be impressive, but the fact that you've mixed in yet another architectural style within this whole development is pretty unique. And even in the building, we have the contemporary with the Merriam, we have the traditional with the stone, so it's a nice marriage of the two of them. You know, I immediately looked at this and I, I looked at the headers that go across. That, that lower level is the parking, correct? Yes. And but that's those are reclaimed, reclaimed headers? Reclaimed wood from farms in New York State and Connecticut. Talk to me about the glass, because you said that's pretty unique as the sunlight changes across it. Yeah, the color, it changes. In the morning, it's a certain color. It turns to a blue, to a gray. So throughout the day, the building changes. Just the overall look and feel of how it's sort of connected to this piece of property. Yes. And then here, we're literally right on the water. This is right on the river. Ones. Absolutely beautiful. You know, I, I look at the diversity of the architecture, the location, which, I mean, with the river right there, it's just spectacular. You guys have done a terrific job of bringing some unique architecture to a development that is modern with its amenities, yet it has a nod to the past. Yes. Nicely done. Very nicely done. Thanks so Thank much. You. Hudson Harbor is an example of style on the move. It brings together many looks of the Northeast United States. From New England to New York City, it's an excellent blend of classic architecture and modern technology. And it's proof that style can be taken from anywhere and brought to your home.